Welcome to the video, we'll probably do group pass memorization or RPM for short on the Cobot CRX. So the difference between a standard multi-pass program and an RPM program is the R RPM program uh, records your group pass using scene tracking and then offsets off of that group pass for your sequential passes. Okay. So as you can see on my screen, I already have my home point program. So what I'm gonna do now is slide up my multi-pass well icon. If you need instructions on how to set that icon up, please refer back to the multi-pass training video. I'm gonna slide this up. I'm gonna choose the procedure I wanna use. I, I made my RPM. I hit okay. So, in my well start with my multi-pass icon, I'm gonna hit edit. Choose your procedure, go to the detailed settings screen. You want to hit track schedule, and you have to make sure that your RPM buffer is not set to zero, that it's set to anything between 1 and 98. You don't want to use the same RPM buffer twice. Right? Also, make sure your adjusted delay time is set to 0.136. After that, you want to click on pass list. So, for your first pass, you want to hit edit. You want to make sure your lead is enabled. So keep in mind when you're doing scene tracking, your amplitude has to be at least two millimeters and your dwell times has to be at least 0 0.08 seconds. For your root pass, you want to hit the tracking tab. Then you're going to hit track slash RPM. After that, you're going to hit the back button and go to your second pass. So you're going to hit edit on your second pass. You want to enter your parameters here. You want to turn on your offset and make sure it says M pass slash RPM. Now here you want to put in the offset that you decided were good for your program. For me, I'm going to be using three millimeters. Okay, I'm going to enable my lead. I have my same lead settings. You want your tracking to be none for your second pass. So you're only going to be tracking on your root pass. Okay, you're going to hit back, and then go to your third pass. Enter your parameters in the schedule tab. Offset, M pass slash RPM. Now, whatever you enter for your second pass, you want to do the opposite for your third pass for your Y. So I'll be at positive three. So for my third pass, I'm gonna do negative three. Always want your Z to be positive. If you put negative into your Z, then you'll be going in the direction of your plate. Weave tab, I'm gonna enable my weave again. Tracking is still going to be none. So I'm doing three passes for the, this training. You guys put in as many passes as you would need. After you're done with that, you want to hit the arrow to go back to your program. You want to touch up points two, three, four, and five. So point two, point two will be your approach point to your web. So the way you do that is you select point two, it's going to take you to the details page. Towards the left of the screen, you want to see a touch up button. You want to hit. It's going to actually want to touch up your current position. You're going to say, okay. Now you're going to move your robot arm to where you want to start your web. I'm going to start mine right here. I'm going to hit point three. I'm going to go down to the linear tab and hit touch up on my world start. And then I'm gonna move it to my world end. And do the same thing. Hit number four, weld in. Hit the linear tab, hit touch up. And I wanna move it to my retract point. And touch up number five. Now, if you wanted to go back home after your program, you can move it out the way. 
then you can slide the L and the J move after your multi pass well icon. Now from here, I'm gonna dry run my program and show you guys my offsets. Now what I'm gonna do is just show you guys really quick. So I know there's a lot of customers that use flux core and things like that and need to pause in between passes. So I'm gonna show you real quick of how to put a pause after your passes. So what you wanna do is come down to the other tab. And then you're gonna slide the icon that says code after your retract point inside of your bracket, as you can see here. You wanna click on that icon, you're going to type the word pause. And what this allows you to do is stop the well after each pause and it only will start again when you tell it to. So in my case, you have a palm station, it's only going to start the next pass when I hit the green button. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is adjust the end of my well to show you guys how the RPM works. Turn my gas on. Turn on my fuel extraction. And you'll be able to see how my whole program also is based off my roof that is recorded by track.
That is a video of how to do RPM on the Cobot CRX.